Welcome back. This is a major update. This is a pivotal moment in VRA's history because we're at an inflection point. We're either going to 100x this bull cycle or we're not. Now, I'm going to talk about where we go from here, the 100x opportunity, is it still alive and well, and what happens next. But before I do that, let's talk about the elephant in the room. Now, Veracity posted an update just a few hours ago and they've said this we have an update regarding our listing status on bitfinex due to low trading volume we have agreed with bitfinex to delist vra historically the trading activity for vra on bitfinex has ranged between one thousand to five thousand dollars per day placing it at the lower end of volume metric across all platforms our token is listed on now the first thing is this we shouldn't be seeing delistings in a bull cycle right we need access we need people to be able to access the the project and not only that you've now given the haters ammunition to essentially slander the project and they're using this uh, as a as you know as a almost a, a tool to say to people look vra is not going anywhere you can see already trading volumes are low and this will be reflected on all other platforms expect this to occur on all other platforms, right? Because a lot of people won't actually look at the data, right? Which is, again, very important. You need to look, you can see the volumes here, right? So go to Coinbase, don't just let people online, you know, show you, you know, loads of uh, misinformation, check for yourself and look online, right? But with that being said, I, we've all said it in the community, this is why we need major exchange listings right vra already has the exposure now they've gone on to say that they're looking for uh, they're in the process of completing listing applications with global exchanges that's all well and good but for all of us here we already know that vra already has the exposure we don't need to be on any more small exchanges we're on okx we're on bybit we're on gate io we're on uniswap we're on htx right we've been delisted from bitfinex now which isn't good we're on qcoin we're on bitget we're on crypto.com we now need binance and coinbase that is that is the final piece to this puzzle especially when it comes to exchange listings especially when it comes to exposure right so that needs to be done now now that we've got that out of the way and it's important to understand no this isn't good right delistings in a bull cycle are not good but the way they've dealt with the situation i think is very good and very professional the haters are you know going to have a field day with this uh, so get ready for their updates and posts which is probably going to be annoying but there we go so vra 27 million dollar market cap the, this is the bottom now, right? This is the lowest that we could potentially see VRA ever again. Now, here's the thing. And in fact, before I move forward, I just want to say to all of you, now's the time to join our free Telegram group. So click the link below right now to join our free Telegram group. I've been walking you all through the, the turbulent time that we've seen in the cryptocurrency market, the sell-off and more. And of course, we give out free gems in the free Telegram group below. So join the free Telegram group right this second. We also got a video in there showing you how to make $100,000 in one month and 14 days. Free of charge is an eight minute video, watch it now. But let's continue. So VRA at the moment is at a significant level. Why? Because if anybody's watching this, if anybody's looking for an entry, worst case scenario, as I said before, even if price goes up to its daily highs to end the year, you still make a 5x, which isn't bad. But the reason why most people are here is for the 100x or for at least VRA to go back to its all time highs. Now, is that going to happen? We need to see VRA go above 0 0.060 in the short term. And I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on this. From where we currently are now, that's a 150 percentage point move. I'm going to be watching this market like a hawk um, because this needs to happen. In fact, not 150 percent is only a 114 percent move. Uh, and this needs to happen ASAP. 
right? Because as I said before, we need to get to 0 0.02097 before the next major pullback in the market. So whilst the overall market bounces back, once we see altcoins break out, which I believe we're going to start seeing starting from today actually, and going into the weekend and for the rest of August, we should see an altcoin breakout. Veracity now needs to catch up. It needs to achieve a 500, 600 plus percentage point move. If it doesn't, then the hopes of achieving 100x in this bull cycle, unfortunately, may slip through our fingers. But the good news is this. If you're in the market at this area, worst case scenario, you walk away with 300% or 500%. Still not bad, but of course we're here for the 100X. So I want all of you now to stay locked in and stay tuned because I'm going to be posting some major VRA updates now. Um, and what we have to be careful of is what we could start seeing is people selling their VRA and moving it into projects that could make them money in the short term. But this is a micro cap. This should be a project that is making people money in the short term. And that's the danger here. But we're going to wait and see. Make sure you subscribe because I'm going to be posting loads of VRA updates from next week. So if you want to stay, if you want to stay tuned, subscribe right this second. And also join the free Telegram group so you can join our inner circle right this second. This is an inflection point with VRA. Are we going to 100x? Or are we not? We're going to have to wait and see. Until the next update, seize the day.